<laughs> hey guys, so I just got back from the Christmas parade. It was my second year representing for the Students' Union. I also got this really cute, slightly obnoxious <laughs> neon hat, but honestly, if you go to CBU, orange is your new color and it's never obnoxious. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was super fun. It was really cold, even though we drove in um we drove our union van in it we decorated like winter wonderland if i have any pictures i'll insert them now <laughs> but yeah yesterday i mentioned that i wanted to talk about um where i have been what i've been doing just because it's been so long so yeah for when i dyed all my hair blonde <laughs> um it's kind of fading now i have to get it re-dyed again but the majority of it is blonde i chop it off this was in October so my hair was like down to here before so I chopped quite a bit off and it was probably up to here when I first got it done but yeah I um just decided to bite the bullet dye it all blonde because I finally got my hair healthy enough where I was able to do that which I'm so thankful for I have been doing like a three hair step care process for like ever now so I'm really happy with it and I like how it looks and everyone can't believe that I was ever not blonde um, just because since I've moved to Cape Breton I've always had blonde in my hair even though it was never fully blonde it was just always there my grades thank god are improving I'm not sure if I mentioned this before but I need to get a 91 in all my courses to raise my average up to um, it being like a competitive average to get into law school um, so I've been trying really hard to do that. I have it in one class I have like a 94 and another class I think I have a 90 so I need to get up 1% and then administrative law has been kicking my ass <laughs> so I definitely um, need to work harder. I still am working on a paper. It was supposed to be done Thursday night but it's not due till Monday so I'll finish it and I want it to be amazing. I want to get a really good mark on it but yeah, so my grades actually are a lot higher than they were last year. I am only taking three courses because I am still working a full-time job as executive vice president of my students' union. It's a lot of work. It is so rewarding. I love what I do. I absolutely love the full-time support staff that I get to work with and the other staff as well. So that is good. It can be very stressful all the time, but I'm so glad I'm taking distance courses. So I don't have to uh, actually go to class. I take one in-person class a week and that is just for my own well-being because I'm very much a social person. So being in the office all day, although it is a lot of fun and it gives me a lot of time to like go to meetings and stuff like that. It is um, not always the best for me when I'm isolated in my office and I don't get to talk to people. So I go to one class a week and that's Mondays from um 1 2 3 30 and I like it it definitely isn't a class that I thought I would take it is public history in the media it's more of a history course and a communication course and I definitely am more of a corporate communication student meaning that I like the business side of communication and that's definitely a field I want to go into if I don't go into law, which is another thing I have really been debating, I think I want to do public policy instead of being a lawyer because with public policy I can like help change the laws instead of fight the laws that already exist so I feel like I'd be making more of a difference if I fought the laws that existed and changed them and made them better for society but I really still don't know what I'm doing. There's a lot of things that I want to do. I'm still young. I am still just trying to figure everything out, which is totally fine. But that is my plan right now that I want to get into corporate communication or public policy. Um, I also decided or figured out this summer that I'm doing my four year BA majoring in communication, minoring in political science, although I have to make an appointment with my political science advisor to see if it'd be more beneficial for me to double major in communication and political science just as all my electives are business so I still have to come back to complete 11 or 12 courses when I finish which will be, I finish my BA May 2019, I graduate with that 
So I'm hoping that I can do 11 or 12 courses in the spring, summer, and fall semester of um, my, it'd be like, I guess my fifth year, but it'd be the first year I'm fully just in business. So I want to do that. So once January comes around, I don't have to come back to school. I'm saving up money so I can travel. And if I don't save enough money or if I decide that I want to stay the whole year or if that I can't complete all 12 courses in that short time frame just as classes are not always offered, I am going to um, do a internship somewhere just so I get another practical experience because um, I've been blessed. I've already worked in a lot of not-for-profit areas. I like the union is a not-for-profit area. I worked for a newspaper, which was under the union not-for-profit area, and I worked for a not-for-profit <laughs> charity. So I have a lot of not-for-profit not experience. So I would like to do another internship, maybe for a not-for-profit or just any other business. Um, after like I graduate with my BA. So that's always an option too and then that money I can use to either travel with or help pay off my student debt because then I'm going to try and get into the master program um, where I teach classes so I get my masters for free. I was a lab facilitator so I know that um, I have a little bit of a competitive edge in that and I was or is, right now I still am executive vice president. Um, of the students union so that's good and just like references and grades so I'm really trying hard because I think I want to do that so I can get my masters like right away um I think that's one to two years I really want to get it done in one year so I can just you know figure stuff out rather quickly I feel like I'm not going to be in one place for long like I'm going to be here for four and a half to five years which is fun because I love it here but after this, I'm looking at going to Maine, um, and then there's just a bunch of other places that I want to look into moving to or working to work for like one to two year terms. Um, one of them would be New York City just because I love New York. Um, I love the fast paced environment. It's Definitely, I know everyone's dream to move there, but I just think it'd be cool for a year or two. Um, Toronto is another place. I feel like I might end up in Toronto or somewhere outside of Toronto, like a town, to live in. Um, just because they have a lot of stuff there, and honestly, for corporate communication, it's a lot easier to find a job in a bigger city. And Seattle has always been on my mind, so after I get my masters who knows where I'll live Boston's another option because I love Boston too but we shall see about that as well and yeah that's that's my life right now um this year has definitely been extremely challenging but very rewarding um like the whole year but also like this academic year I have been through a lot um but overcoming it i am still trying to love life and yeah i think this is a really long video so i hope you guys enjoyed this little life update not all videos are going to be just talking videos but i feel like i haven't updated you guys in a really long time so hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you really soon bye